subtract service. Now let's look at the third example in the series, which is about a complex service uh, binding. Now in this case, you're going to invoke a service which is going to return us a list of tweets. And once I get, it just tells me how many tweets do I have. It says I've got 20 tweets. Now before we go anywhere, let's just look at uh, the AIDL for this particular class. So the AIDL says list of tweet get social feed. And let's see what this tweet really is. This tweet is a complex data structure. It's a class which has number of things inside it. Now, if you do not declare the tweet as parsable, and if you do not have a ideal for a tweet, you will get an error. The reason is this: that as you are exposing the behavior out of the service, you need to expose the model which are involved either in the return type or argument outside the service. It's the same rule as RMI because this tweet object needs to be created in some other JVM to be accessed. So the first thing which we do is we actually go to the model uh, package and we declare the tweet AIDL as a parsable object. Now what we're trying to say simple over here is that tweet is parsable and you can serialize and deserialize it. Because it's not primitive, deserialization and serialization is not um, it is not very implicit. So once you declare parsable, that means that Android can, knows that it can make this serialize it. Now let's look at the parsable implementation. Uh, we need to declare a creator and we, in the creator we need to declare create from parcel and uh, new array and I need to have a constructor which says um, tweet parcel the parcel is provided and mainly it's about these two methods called as write to parcel and read from parcel so in write to parcel I'm doing is I'm writing long first and I'm writing three strings in read from parcel I'm reading long first and reading from three strings which is um, quite obvious so you can read about parcel in your own time but I'm going to jump back to this interface now since we expose the data types uh, we can expose uh, the service also if you do not declare tweets as a parsable or do not have a ideal for it you'll get errors now let's simply go and see the bind service example now here it's again the same thing I'm providing a declaration for the interface where I'm saying that I'm gonna get this tweet from uh, another class called as uh, feed manager and I'm gonna return it that is it nothing special about this now let's go and see the client example for this now as I mentioned earlier that what we need is we need a service for this particular uh, we, need a, we need an intent for this particular service and we need to bind the service providing a connection object in the connection object you can see that I get a binder serve a binder service and I'm gonna create the complex service interface uh, object from this thing and once I get a complex service uh, interface object I can simply call get social feed on that so it's quite simple so you can read more about this but more or less I just wanted to simplify how service works one last thing before we end this uh, tutorial is that all services must be declared in the Android manifest file before you use it this is requirement as it's required for the activities. So this is where I declare all the services. So that's it from my end. Uh, I hope you like this session. Thank you.